it is such a great sport. It's a lot of fun. And a lot of work that takes a lot of stamina. Uh, I train in the morning so that I can have that stamina and so that I am fully uh, ready and prepared to succeed in those bouts. And now, Every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, Amir Whitehead gets up at 4.15 to work out with a coach. Then Fent is Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at this club. And he has tournaments on the weekends, a grueling schedule Amir kept through high school. And I would have to make sure that in these moments, I am still focused on having good grades because that is the most important thing out of all this that I'm doing. That all paid off because he earned an academic scholarship to Lafayette College in Pennsylvania. Amir was also recruited for the D1 men's fencing team for foil. And I was like overcome with joy and excitement and it's like just such a big thing for me. Charles Green is Amir's fencing coach. To see him do the things that I know that I couldn't do but I could teach him and he takes those concepts and goes beyond. Amir was eight years old when he first started fencing but he was still playing basketball and baseball. Then his father said, choose a sport. And he decided to go all in on fencing. I'm not relying on like anybody else except for me on the strip. And in that moment, I can kind of see like how hard I've been working in the sport because I can't pass off any blame or I can't pass off anything else, anything to anybody else. And to any kids out there watching, Amir has this message. I really want them to know that anything is possible um, and, and, and anything that they put their minds to is possible. For now, this 18-year-old is focused on the Junior Olympics and Summer Nationals taking place in Philadelphia in July. Lisa Robinson, WBAL-TV 11 News.